Hi, in today's video I will show you how to use Mvave Chocolate to control your Tonex effects. Currently it's working this way. Switch A turns on the delay, switch B turns it off, and the same with modulation, the switch C turns it on, and the switch D turns it off. It is not perfect, but at least I am able to turn on delay and modulation effects on every single preset, and it's working flawlessly. Okay, first thing that you have to do is we need to download a CubeSuite software. Let's go here and download CubeSuite for Windows or for Mac OS. Next, we need to plug our chocolate MIDI controller to the PC via USB-C cable. Okay, let's plug it in. And once everything is hooked up, you should get something like this, foot controller. Okay, first thing what you have to do, we need to change the mode selection to advanced custom mode. Let's go here. And this is what I did. You'll probably have nothing here, so we have to add something like this. Let's go to add, click twice. Let's leave it at one. Let's go to the CC, and let's change it to 2 and 127. Basically what we have done, by using this foot switch, right now, I will turn on the delay. So basically, this number is a delay on or off. And if you have it on 0, it will be turned off, and on 127, it will be turned on. Okay, I think it's fairly straightforward. Let's go to OK, and let's go to a foot switch B. What I have here, there is a zero, so this will turn the delay off, once again. This will turn the delay on, this will turn the delay off. And that's all you have to know for now, okay? Let's go to a foot switch C. There is a change, as you can notice, there is a 32, which corresponds to the modulation. So basically, it means that 32 with a mod on or off, 127, turn on. And the D, zero. So once again, this corresponds to action. So for example, you can turn on compressor, you can turn on uh, modulation, that kind of stuff. Okay, so once again, A will turn the delay on, B will turn the delay off, C will turn the modulation on, D will turn the modulation off. Okay, so let me demonstrate. We have a basic patch. It has no delay, it has nothing. When I turn this on, there is a delay. And very important thing, you have to prepare a preset in the application. You can of course mess with parameters inside here, but you know, it's kind of annoying. So what I have done, I have basically added a ping pong delay. So basically, right now, I am able to control the delay on every single preset. Let's change to something else. There's a horse clean, which has a delay. Let's turn it off. On. Off. On. And you can do exactly the same thing with a modulation block. So right now, there is a chorus, I can turn it off. And on. Very important thing, I am using a Bluetooth receiver by Mvava. You can probably hook it up with TRS cable and that will be good enough. But if you want to keep it simple, you should use a receiver as well.
Thanks a lot for watching, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and if you want a little bit more in-depth video, let me know, and I'll try to make it soon. If you enjoyed the tones in that video, make sure to check out my custom presets for Tonex, and see you in the next video. Bye!